everybody, how's it going and welcome back. My name is Ren or Mad Renzi and today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own Hytale server for the early access of Hytale, obviously. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Nitrado website using the link in the description and that will basically have you set to where we are right now. What you got to do then is make a quick account. For now, I'll do down on that game a little bit. There we go. And then what you gotta do is once you've got into your account and you have it sitting like this, next thing you want to do is click on Hytale, which will be at the top left. Or you're gonna scroll down, and I'm just gonna flip over to the big screen here so you can see. Um, it's just about here, and you're gonna type in here Hytale, and then just that. Now, the key thing to note on this as well is how much ram you need okay so we're going to do a customized server so i can explain this a bit more and turn that down a wee bit mayor so i can hear myself think right so you've got for up to four players it's four gig of ram okay up to six players it's six gig of ram and up to 10 players it's eight gig of ram okay i would highly recommend you always go a little bit more just for the sake of it because you're probably going to want to put mods on it anyway so i've already got an 8 gig of ram server set up because i want six players on my server um but and let's say for example you want a lot more you can add all the way up to 72 gig of ram next is how many days you want i would always recommend going for the the discounts which are around about 90 days or whatever. It's up to you. Um, and then you will choose your subscription base or your prepaid. And then where you are in the world. So if you're in the States, you would choose where it's closest to you based on the lowest MS. Once that's done, you're going to click choose this from configuration and pay. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is it's going to load up. And it's going to say, right, go to what your, your, like, your, my services. And it will look like this. And you'll see all your servers there. And you want this one. And you click web interface. That will bring up this screen here. Uh, I'm going to make that full screen so you can see it all. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to move my webcam over to the other side. There we go. Right. First thing first, click on, uh, make sure your server is stopped, okay? It should boot up and then it will like, it will either say your server running, server updating, whatever. Wait for all that to finish, then stop your server. If your server gets stuck in a loop where it's constantly saying, constantly stopping, contact support, okay? It's just an issue that's happened that it should be now fixed, but it should be there. Next thing I do is click on the general settings here and we're going to give our server a new name. So what we want to do is I'm just going to put in Ren's World is what I always have. And then you got, if you want to give it a password, give it a password. The message of the day, you know. Uh, I'll just put welcome to early access. How many max players can the server? I want 10 um max view radius now this is also based on ram so if 384 blocks you're going to need an x amount of ram so i'm going to put it down and bring it down to about eight okay now the reason for that is the higher it is the more it is going to put a demand on the server so for you i would highly recommend depending on how much ram you want reduce the max view obviously you don't want it down at one but you want it around about there give or take if you've got a higher ram you'll put it up to the 12 uh except plugins yes that's bootstrap plugins which may cause stability issues so use them at your own risk which are mods um you want it in the patch line of release and next we're going to do is for the world and then we're just going to click save changes okay did that work save changes Right, so next thing we're going to go down is uh, the configuration profiles, which is basically just the base settings and then looped over and over. So you can have multiple profiles, which we don't need for this one. Uh, config files, 
are here this is where you can change like a lot of the settings and things like that like connection timeouts uh the game mode that you want right now only adventure is available and if you're not sure load up your game right and then go to worlds um so uh, like just click on worlds and then you edit world and things like that or you can go to um delete world yes and then you can see here so then when you first come into um hightail this is what you see you see creative exploration adventure now like i said it will show you um right there that it is set to adventure by default okay so they're fine modules plugins modules we uh this will all be done in the modding setting uh log levels mods display like i said more mod stuff and leave it as is now that's that's fine leave it as is if you don't want to do anything else for banning people uh that will be done under the band.json um here which you would just need to apply the user's name for whitelist it's the exact same uh so it'll be a whitelist for enabled which is false and then you would just change that to true and then you'd put the username in there and then give another username with the brackets and just keep going okay so then over here you got the perm uh, permissions list which is for the admin section so here the permissions will be query web apex hosting uh group service anonymous blah 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 and then like should be the user specific user should be in there but i think it's just set as is oh maybe they are i would say who knows that's one for the books i don't know one um but it's something i have to look into how to do admin commands properly if you do know leave a comment below but i should be able to fix that right so for live console once the server is connected all the live information will be running here and you'll be able to enter commands there file browser uh which will be how to upload stuff st straight to the server using an ftp client be in here uh the restore backup section is if uh, you want to say for example you've already got your server running right this is more really important by the way so listen but your server set up you've got all, a couple of mods in already but you want to add more mods be and but you know it's working Make sure you got backup so you can restore it to that before messing around with anything. Next is automate tasks, which are your daily resets. Um, a lot of people asked about this in a different video. So to do this, what you want is like, I'm going to set it for they are uh, around about they are. So it's every seven hour and between seven hour and 10 minutes, like, and it'll be every seventh day of every month you know uh or only on a friday right and then there'll be restart message and add so now the server will only restart like the seven weekdays or five and then it'll do it on that day so next is mod manager um this one we'll talk about in another video but here you'll be able to see all the different mods that are running now, if you did select that one that I already uh, showed at the general settings, which is like the based important thing, these are here, right? So, um, but I'll talk over mod manager in a different video because I want to just get this one wrapped up. And that is basically it for Hytale. If you need to upgrade your server, it is right behind me. So let me just move myself out of the way. And as you can see, it's like right there. Uh, what you would do is just click on it and then you can upgrade and downgrade the slots here um so basically so like if i wanted 10 gig and so on and so forth you know so done 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 bam there you go i've got 10 gig of ram once that's all done your settings are all saved make sure everything you're happy with everything and then just click start your server we'll be right back and i'll show you how to connect to your server in game so you don't have any issues finding your server either okay so once the server is booted up and your game is loaded like this what you're gonna do is go to servers add a server connection address you're gonna hit the that 
there which you can get from here okay and then you're just going to minimize this and give it a name close and then it'll be there double click it enter your password that you gave it and then just click login and that's how you set up your very own I tried to server for Hightail. Thanks very much everybody for watching. We'll see you all on the next video.